how was I 30 years old in 1985 and he was 14 and him and I are only three years apart? You got to remember, just because somebody is, is, is world famous doesn't mean they're always honest. And I've got nothing bad to say about him, but you got to stop lying on me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't smoke cigarettes, I didn't smoke weed, I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't do anything. I'm not 14 years old. And, um, me and my man should do a one night, and it was his birthday, and we came back, we, we spent the money, I said, here, you know, take this, go get something, it's for your birthday, whatever. Hmm. So he came back with a rolled up, and as I'm counting the money, he likes to, and I said, I, I was impressed, I got, I don't really smoke, I got it. And he passed the ball down, and, um, I hit the ball up like, like, I was no longer focused on the money. It, 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 I never felt like it's like, it, it just up. I'm like, the f He laced the ball with, with, with the crap. Mm. My thing. Why would you do that to a like, like 30, you know what I'm saying? And he, and he knew how I looked up to him. Fight. We got to get us together. That's what I know. So, as this year continues to move forward and I continue to move strong in my agenda, please know this ain't no game. I'm not playing no game. I'm playing for the future. You know, I, I, I've lost so much that was important to me. Because of this, this rat race that we call America. They're not going to be satisfied till we all at each other constantly. I mean, that, that's what a lot of people actually want. They want the races to turn against each other so we can eliminate each other so they can stay in power. I love everybody, but I hate bigotry. I hate prejudice. I hate discrimination. I hate these things because these things say that, you know, some of us is better than others. And it's not true. The color of your skin doesn't make you better than me. It just doesn't. It doesn't even make you different than me. Because if we take the same and cut each other the exact same way we will be the same way and we have the ability to die the same way people are people for the good, the bad, the ugly it doesn't matter but using color to drive um, population control agendas y'all not hearing how people are complaining there's too many people are voting there's too many people are reading. We got to change the voting laws. We got to change this. We got to change that because they done called on. They done got wise. We got to find a whole nother thing. Like, yeah, no. No. We don't have to let it go down like that. We, we still have a say for the time being. And while we have a say, we need to take every say that we can. We need to say everything that we can. We need to do everything that we can. The protests are good. We need more. We need more. We need more than a protest. We need more than a speech. We need more than a march. We need action. Because the truth is, with all of those little street pharmacies that we've had throughout the years, if we actually doubled down as communities and put those same people through school, we would have our own chemists. We would have our own doctors. We could build our own hospitals. That's what they do. Man, if we had our own hospital, we had our own doctors, our own scientists, our own team, man, we would be able to have a bigger say in what happens to our bodies in a country where, for real, for real, they don't care if you lie. Let's just keep it honest. The simple fact that McDonald's is one of the um, 
highest grossing restaurants of all time and two thirds of the things on the menu ain't even actual food. Some old processed crap. You wonder why everybody's getting diabetes and we eating bad. What do you think constant eating bad does? It beats up on your organs and your organs break down. Then you got to do what? You got to go to the doctor. Then the doctor give you a bunch of medicine to take care of that. But then it causes this and then it causes that. And now, boom, you back at the doctor. Now you sick. Next thing you know, here comes something like because of all of the other stuff and all of the other this. Now people are just dropping like flies. Why is it health, like real healthy stuff approved? Why is it, why, why is, why is a plant like this on the schedule, well, schedule one with, uh, uh, and, and, and it has all of the amazing healing effects that it has. And yet alcohol is legal and alcohol has been years. You know how many alcoholics are going to, because their system is so weakened because of all of that alcohol. But alcohol legal as hell. You can get alcohol anywhere. You can get tobacco anywhere. They talking about tobacco, everybody, but they selling it. That's cool. But the plant that can actually help you, the plant that can keep you um, from losing your mind, especially for people with bipolar disorder, stuff like that, CB is amazing. It is amazing for that mood. And guess what? You don't need drugs. You don't need drugs. You don't need the Even this cream that I make, my salve, my topical cream. I don't have to take pain anymore. No longer beating up my kidneys. No longer beating up my organs. Like, why is all of the stuff that's good for you so hard to get or illegal? But this is you every day. You can get that anywhere. You can just get that anywhere. Beat your body up, beat your body up, beat your body up, beat your body up. And then when a mass comes, we can a good, I don't know, um, million two of you that we don't need vote and know how. Like, y'all not paying attention to how things is working. It's a game. It's a setup. They don't expect us to survive. They expect us to, to make sure that the economy, the economy thrives just enough so they can keep getting rich, which is why all their taxes is hella low. But they're trying to bankrupt you. Public every day. Like, I, I don't get it. And when I say public, I ain't talking about, I'm just talking about every American citizen, regardless of your color, regardless of your religion, regardless of your financial status. If you ain't making X amount of dollars, you don't matter. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. If you're not earning X amount of dollars, you're a worker bee, you don't matter. You don't matter. I just think we need to get smart. I think we need to get a little more organized. I think we need to start paying attention to everything that they trying to make us not pay attention to. Because every time you see this amount of happening on the television, it's a distraction. They got you looking one way so you're not paying attention to what's happening behind you. We need to start looking behind us and seeing what's going on over there when all of this smoke is over here. We need to see if there's actually fire over there. We got to stop being dumb. And we got to stop just accepting everything that these people tell us. This is a that has lied since the very beginning. Since This is a country, nothing but lies. Strangers came here after getting lost and making a wrong turn and totally tried to educate the indigenous people here and still treat them like they don't exist. That's how this country started. Then they, then they bring over here to work for free forever while they sit back and drink mint and talk about how fine the tobacco harvest is, is, is about to be and do, and do no work. Like this is the history of our country. Lincoln Freeze and the rest of, of you know the states and all of that just don't tell nobody. <laughs> Which is why we have Juneteenth. Yeah, y'all free, but we just not going to tell you. We're going to keep letting you work. Like, come on. This is America. This is what America does. And it don't care no more about the people than it do the people. If you ain't got an X amount of dollar, you really don't matter. You just want fuel for the fire.
Take care of yourselves. And I'm going to say it one last time. DMX did not drug over this. And I know that to be a fact. I send my condolences to his family. Especially the kids. And I know there's some grandbabies. What an amazing hero y'all shared with us. And I pray. I pray for your family every day. I pray for your peace, your peace of mind. And I pray for your joy because there is so much that Earl Simmons really did in this world and did for this world. And y'all have that to be proud of. What a legacy to leave behind. DMX did not those.